Hey guys, welcome back to Watch with Veer. In today's video, we're going to be well, I'm going to be starting a beginner Python tutorial series, and in this ep um, this video and the next video, and probably the third video from now, we'll be creating this script. This is um, well. Let me explain what we're doing first before I get into what we're going to be doing in the next uh, episodes in the series. Is we're going to be creating a beginner Python project. We're not going to be um, creating like we're not going to be using any external modules just yet. We will, though, be using uh, external modules in the fifth or sixth videos to create a GUI for our for our um, app application that we're going to be creating. And then later, uh, once I get my version of this created, we might create a an, like an app where you can create it so like it can become like an exe for windows dmg for mac a d a, a deb a dot deb for ubuntu and uh, De, uh, debian or yeah debian and then what um, i'm not sure what the package format is for fedora red hat and those other linux variations you can also create this um, application and you can create it in an android app i will be able to create an iOS app just yet because you need to have Xcode installed on well I th it says you need to have Xcode installed on your computer and so I will be doing research into that to see if I can install Xcode onto my Windows so uh, let me show you the scripts that we are going to be creating and how we're going to be creating them so we are going to be creating a script called encoder the py which will encode our message that we want to send and so what I have here is a list of the alphabet a to z and the a to z then I have a list another list um, that's a that's the key and that key is just a list of numbers 0 to 25 because there's 25 letters in the alphabet yeah there's 25 letters in the alphabet then you enter the message and so that message comes into an input and then goes from there and this is just basically this whole section here is just basically uh, encoding the message and then it goes through all this stuff um, and then this is in this is what I also had to add here is so that if you have a space it'll come out as a star so if it's just space, it'll come out of a star. If it's a dot, like if you're doing, if you're typing and want to encode a uh, URL, then it'll come out as this, uh, as the dash. And then same for, and then this is for the all all those. So then it's the same thing really with the decoder. It's just same script. You just change the variable names from decode to encode. Well, I mean encode for to decode. It's the exact same thing because this is the in, this is really cool about the script is that a an a when you put it into an eco and an, the encoder will come out at two so that's zero one two which is a c which means that the c will come out and then so then a c will come out as a three because a, a it just works. Um, I will show you an example of this uh, before we get started um, coding, but in this script, this is one of the an interesting script. So what we're going to be doing is putting this script and this script into a folder, and then that folder will have an empty underscore underscore in it, like an init an initialization file, and then in our beginning file we will import that folder and then import the two files then we will um, then we will uh, have an if statement and so here you say it says if GUI equal to equal to Y and then that's basically when we are going to be importing TK enter for the decoder and the encoder and creating this 
class called encode user. I'm um, not encode user right now. Uh, encode underscore GUI, which is basically the encoder, but it will come out as a GUI, and so this will be using the same technique as I did in my chat chatterbot series, where I created the um, where I created the GUI for the chatterbot for the chatbot, and I will have a card to that series uh, somewhere in the top right, bottom top right, or top left uh, sections of the video. So right now, this so what we'll be what we'll be doing is we'll be importing this TK enter and TK I don't know oh yeah so it says import TK enter as TK so that means that you just have to do TK dot instead of TK enter dot and then the class name or function name and then I'm importing from that TK TK capital with a capital T so to initialize this I just go TK dot TK yeah so I will run this file here and then Takes a second. Yeah, I could run. Still recording. Still recording. Oh, wow. I've been recording for six minutes. But that's a good intro, I guess. That's weird. That is so weird. Okay, here it comes. So the terminal, the terminal is starting to open, like the built-in VSC terminal. I use Visual Studio Code for like everything that I do for coding I mostly actually code on my Linux with when I do Python I mostly code on my Linux and uh, this script the scripts that that I made here are completely made by me like I just uh, was the inspiration I got to do this was actually my dad was showing me a video on the Enigma machines, like the uh, the Enigma machines um, that were used and made, and how that and how you could have brand like you could create your own the own key. It had to be set at the first like the first letter letter had to be set up, and so that's basically what I've done here. Is that in these in this file you put in the message? So with the Enigma machine, you'd be putting in the message, and then what and then you before you before you put in the message you'd put the the encryption level so the encryption level and then you'd set that to like the how much how, how the way it would be encrypted and then you'd enter in your message and it would come out with like one in one keyboard and then a light and, the, and another keyboard would light up and then you would type in your message and the light would randomly come up but it came up in a pattern where you could code it backwards because uh, code it backwards because of the way it worked that if I type in A it'll come out W if I type out W it'll come out A so that's sort of what I've done here um, except for the except for the fact that I have you have to actually go in through manually and set it so that there this script is starts at 25 it has to go opposite so when you type in A it, it will become a Z. This is a little blurry. Yeah, it's a little blurry, but I'll tell you what it says. So, so right where I'm highlighting, if you can see that, it says to decode, to encode and decode in a GUI type Y, otherwise type N. I'll type N because I want to show you what we'll be creating in the next two or three 
episodes of this series, I go enter and it says type E to encode a message or type D to decode a message. When encoding, use lowercase only. And I've done that because um, if I type a capital, the capital will come out, like the capital will, like the net letter for that capital will disappear when it comes out into the encode, encoded message. So I'm going to type E to encode, and then I'll encode the message. I'm just going to type hello world, and then two exclamation marks. So then it asks me level of encryption, and so this is how many times that message hello world will get encoded. So it will, well, the way the process that I've set is it will, and the message here will go through here, all through all these conditions, out here into here in here. Then it'll add a number, and so th then it'll add a number like the loop number, and then the message will be get called back up here, and it will go again. And so it'll continue going through that. So if I do two, then if let's go a here, so a becomes a z. Okay, then what does z become? So now we have to find z. So we go down to z, and then z becomes. So z is 25, 24, 23. Z becomes an x. Then x becomes 21. So 25, 23, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. It becomes a V. So if I do three times, A will become a V. If I set the encryption level to three. So what I'm doing here is I'm going hello world. Then I'm going to set the encryption level to let's just say 400. Enter, and then so you see this code. I'll show it in. I'll show this in post production as well. That code is H S I I J star W J T I X forward slash forward slash. Now that does not sound remotely at all like Hello World, except for it starts with an H, which means we have to check what does H get encoded to. So H here gets encoded to element of Q. H becomes encoded to seven. So seven go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? That's weird. Okay, so H will stay H. So, yeah, that's how the way I have made it, I have made it. You can make it your own way, which means that it's even better because you make it your own way. Only you, only the people that you share the code with or the application with when we get to the application stage will be able to encode or decode any of the messages will be able to decode the messages you send them and then they'll be able to encode messages and you'll be able to from your encoding section so it's completely unique how you can encode so if I go N again and then instead of E I go decode down here and I paste that commit that in it says level of decryption. So I had to decrypt it. I encrypted it 400 times, so I'll decrypt it 400 times. And it comes out, hello world. So now, uh, let's get into actually writing the beginning script and then parts part of the encoding, uh, the encoding script. So with the beginning script, well, first let me open a folder. Okay, so the folder's loading up, and I checked my recording time, like how long I've been recording, and doing this cut. Um, and so, what I've just what I've learned from this is that we're going to be setting up the architecture, so like the hierarchy of the folders, in this episode, and then in the next episode, we're going to be going through creating the beginning script. So, well, we create the empty beginning script, but we'll create the an empty in it initialization script for the for the for the encode um, and decode folder I'm going to create a begin.py script uh, Begin dot py. Mm. 
out. Okay, my computer's a little bit slow. A little bit slow. Okay, so begin.py script and then in encode decal we'll create a underscore underscore init uh, so that's underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py now this might be a little lot to handle but you'll be doing this mostly whenever you want to import something from another file because it actually speeds up um, your like it doesn't take as much RAM if you have something from a file because when because the way Python works is you run the file the file that's being run the computer like the compiler well, well, it's not really sort of a. I'm not sure if it's a compiled language or an interpreted language. I think it's interpreted. But when the interpreter, yeah, I think it's an interpreter. When the interpreter runs through and reads the code, it stores all the all the functions, variables, and stuff in memory, in the in RAM. And so, having unnecessary variables. So if you have like size variables and color variables and things you might want to put them you would want to put them in a separate file in a folder called like assets and then those assets could be like images extra files like python files that where you import code um and things so what we're going here is creating a decode.py file as long as as well as an encode.py file and then just for the sake of things because we're going to we might put this into a zip file uh, later a zip file I'm going to um, put a github link in the next video for where if you want to download this high like this hot this uh, folder it's going to be a zip folder and then in later versions that I'm going to upload to that github um, to that Git, github repository there will be a setup.py and so we'll go through that setup.py which is going to basically be um, will automatically install the required library so for example we're going to be importing TK enter so if someone wants to download the source code um, but doesn't want to have to go through a documentation documentation a long documentation being like like uh, saying to run this uh, to run this uh, file, you need to have tkinter installed, and to install tkinter, you use pip install tkinter in command prompt, or sudo pip install tkinter, or for Linux, or sudo or sudo pip install tkinter for Mac. Instead, it just says run the setup.py file because that setup.py py file already contains pre-downloaded and installed modules um, and now I think that as of 3.7 tkinter is already pre-installed but we might use other libraries um, to make this look better so in our chatter in the chatterbot one we used a styling in the chatterbot series I used a styling module that was compatible that is compatible with TK enter and say for that it's not pre-installed or dot like pre installed on your computer TK enter is but we're going to need a setup file to be able to run that um, to run the script without giving us an error and so that's what the setup script will be will uh, be handy for and what we'll be doing is we're going to be it'll be basically translating our a text string of text from that you put into Python using the OS I think I can show you the file here if I open recent and go to where my examples are um, where I showed you this code from earlier here let it load up <laughs> gray screen first So if you notice down here on, um, so you have big begin.py where where my cursor is, and then below you have setup.py, and in this uh, setup.py wrong setup.py. Wait, uh, here I can show you. I I haven't done it for this one. 
but I have one here downloaded. My Chatterbot GUI, where I have the link to the Discord in my, um, sorry, not Discord, the GitHub in my other. Okay, uh, well, I'll show you the setup file in the next video. But for now, we I'm going to have to end the video, sadly. Um, and then in the next video, we're going to start working on the begin script and the encoding script. Because the only way to write the decoding script is if you have the encoding script um, done. And actually, right now I'm thinking about it, we will just do the encoding script. Then, on, then in the third episode of the series, we'll do the... Uh, decoding script, and if we have time on the um, decoding on the episode where we do the decoding, then we will be then on the episode where we do the decoding, then we'll write the begin file. If not, then we we'll, if not if we don't manage to write the begin file and script the sc begin script on the epi on episode three, then we will write that script on episode four, and that script really only takes like two minutes. Now, if my intro today hasn't been so long, but I was trying to explain to you guys what we are going to be doing in this uh, tutorial series and showing you what the code looks like, what we're going to be doing in the next few episodes, then we may have been able to work on the begin script in this episode. But for now, I'm going to have to end the video, and so I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe, and if you don't feel like just subscribing, please like this video. Uh, if you have any feedback, please check out my website at 